Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial video. This is our getting started with Tableau API Lib tutorial video. So from the ground up here, just want to show you uh, what is the underlying target of everything we're doing with the REST API. Uh, that is to control either a Tableau server site or a Tableau online site. So just to kind of set the stage here, I'm looking at this developer site that I have. Uh, quick shout out to the Tableau developer program. If you want a free site to do some testing on, uh, go ahead and sign up and join this program. Um, you get a free site. You also get support from actual Tableau uh, developers to join their Slack channel. It's good stuff. So then back to our objective here. Uh, this is our kind of um, sandbox environment that we'll be hitting with the REST API. So in terms of getting started, uh, this video is going to keep it real simple we're really just going to establish a connection to this server and then in future videos we'll explore how we could use a connection like what we establish here to do more useful things. And if you want to establish a connection at all, first thing you're going to need to do is install the library that you're using to kind of drive your control over the REST API. And as I mentioned, you could use other libraries. In this one, we're going to be using Tableau API Lib so I'm just going to make sure that I have the most recent version of this library. And what that dash U is going to do is if there's a more recent version of the library than what I have installed here, it's going to just make sure that that most recent version is the one that's being used. So we have a most recent version and now I want to quickly hop into this Tableau Server REST API reference because uh, it is important to point out that you could, instead of using a library, you could build this all from scratch. You have the REST API reference available to you. And since this getting started video is all about signing in to the server and establishing that connection, this REST API endpoint is a primary concern to this video. So as we scroll through this, um, it looks like, you know, it's not as simple as just knocking on Tableau server's door and saying, I want to make this connection. Um, there's a little bit more happening here. Uh, and what the REST API reference is going to tell you is this authentication signing in is based off a post request and you would need to set up uh, your post request hitting this type of URL, something that looks like this and uh, you would need to build a request body, either packaging that in XML as seen here, or packaging that in JSON format, and then you'd go through this whole song and dance of making sure you had the right information that you're passing into it. And finally, if everything went right, you would get a response code of 200 from the server, and you would have a response. And uh, what you can do after you sign in is you use this authentication token to um, pass that to the server as kind of like your, you know, your, your uh, key card. And uh, as long as that's a valid token, it's going to keep letting you issue other REST API calls, such as switching a site, uh, querying the site, getting a list of workbooks, you know, getting uh, all the users on the site, etc. So with all that groundwork laid there, let's just take a look at how this all plays out. I hopped into a Jupyter notebook here and I am from that Tableau API lib library importing this Tableau server connection. That connection is going to be fed some configuration details, which we have defined down here in this uh, dictionary, kind of JSON format. And the uh, environment name is defined here. So you could have multiple environments in this configuration dictionary. In this case, I only have one and that's called Tableau underscore prod. And I provide uh, some information here, such as the server address, the REST API version. So if we go back out into this reference, um, this is going to be showing the current version of the API, but there are also older versions that might have different uh, methods available, or not as many as the most recent. So um, if you are on an older server, you just want to make sure that your REST API version that you reference here is the same REST API version that's on your server. And you could, uh, you could log in using username and password, 
but you can also pass in using a personal access token. And here I'm just bearing it all for you with the personal access token. Uh, you could go ahead and try this if you wanted, establish a connection, uh, but I'm gonna have deleted this, or revoked this token by the time you try. So um, I'm just showing this here because it might help some people to see exactly what this information looks like. This one is a, is a little bit tricky down here. This kind of trips people up sometimes. So the site name is the, um, the pretty name, uh, the user-friendly name as it appears. So like maybe your site is, um, let's say your full name. And so for me, it would be Elliot space Stom. Um, but in a URL, uh, you can't have things like spaces or certain symbols. So what Tableau is often going to do is it's going to have what they call a content URL. Sometimes it's called a site URL. So for this library, we just run with site URL. But, uh, but what this is, if I go back out into this site, we can see that up here in the URL, the site that I'm connected to actually has some kind of name up here. Now, if you're connecting to the default site, um, every Tableau server, for example, has a default site. You don't need to write default here. You could just put an empty string like this. And the same thing for your site URL. But in this case, I am connecting to the site name. Um, nine out of 10 times, your site URL is gonna be the same as your site name, but there are situations where they are different, such as if the site name had a space in it, like I just said. So with that, let's define that configuration object. Let's come down here to where we actually define something named connection or con for short, and that's going to be our Tableau server connection with uh, the configuration information being provided by this dictionary we defined up here. And then the environment, that's just saying, uh, well, inside your configuration dictionary, you could have multiple environments, so which one are we actually going to be using? In this case, I'm going to be using Tableau underscore prod, because that's what's named here. And now that we have that configuration information, let's just see if we can sign in. So I purposely laid a trap for myself here, and this um, is just going to spit out a warning for me. If we read this whole thing, it's basically telling me that in my configuration, I've defined the REST API version as 3.8, but while I was signing in, the library picked up on the fact that the server is actually running on API version 3.10, and so if I want the best experience and access to all the most recent methods that are available in the REST API, uh, then I should change my configuration to be 3.10 for the REST API. So let's run through all these commands again. This time when I sign in, we'll notice no warning. Um, we're using the correct REST API version. And uh, the response that we're gonna get whenever we um, call this connection sign-in is an actual uh, server response, and it gives us the response code of 200. And if we want to see the body of that response, we can look at that in JSON format, and we can see that there is some information that the server returns to us. So again, what the library is going to do is it's going to take this token, and this token is just going to be uh, stored as part of this connection object so that as we issue uh, more and more REST API calls, as long as our session remains active, as long as this token is still valid, we'll, we won't need to authenticate again. Uh, so that really covers it for um, the logging in part. And some other commands I just wanted to show really quickly is now that we have a connection established, we could call other REST API methods you might notice here server info and what we used to sign in was called con.sign in. And as much as possible, this library really aims to use whatever um, the names are of the REST API endpoints listed in the reference here. You're going to find those, uh, that same kind of naming convention in the library. So uh, if we take a look at this and we were to say con dot and then autocomplete it, you'll notice there's a whole mess of different methods that we could call on, and these are going to correspond to all those different REST API endpoints that we have available.
So where this gets to be really valuable is um, not just in the fact that we can control the REST API endpoints, that is something that this library strives to do, but if let's say that you, you hit an endpoint, you get something like some of your data comes back from the server like this. For example, here we're querying projects and uh, we can see that, yeah, it gets some information back, but it might not be the most usable uh, or in the most usable format so far. Like for example, it's not just my project's data, there's also this pagination. So if I had a thousand projects on my server, um, by default here, I would only be getting my top 100 when I called this, and then I'd have to do this whole pagination exercise to um, you know, make the same query and get all the rest of my project information. But um, something that this library comes with uh, batteries included, so to say, is uh, this querying section of the library. And this is just something I found really useful, and um, I think a lot of other people will find it useful as well. This is going to take uh, that JSON information up there that we would get from hitting the REST API endpoints directly, and it's just going to package that into a pandas data frame. And so you'll find once you have a connection established to Tableau server using Tableau API lib that getting information kind of like which projects do you have, what, who are the users on your site, um, what groups exist on your site, what workbooks are there, what data sources, you can query these in a fashion kind of like this. And there are going to be more videos in the future that get into the details of this, but I just wanted to give that little taste of um, the library is not just here to help you get logged in, it's also here to give you some, take you that extra mile and kind of uh, reduce the complexity involved in taking that Tableau Server REST API data and giving it to you in a format that's um, really conducive for you getting your work done. So we don't want to leave that connection hanging, um, so I figured I'd just show this as well. There is a sign out endpoint, and you'll just notice now that when you sign out, you get that 204 response, and it doesn't actually return any JSON. So when I, could, when I try to call this JSON object, uh, there's nothing there. But I want to point out now, if we came up and we tried to query this information again, that uh, token is no longer valid, so we're going to get this uh, response from the server saying that we are unauthorized. So once again, once you sign into Tableau Server, um, you do get that token that puts a stamp of approval for future requests that you send using that token, but once you call the sign out method, that's going to invalidate that token and you would need to sign in again if you wanted to um, do anything further with the REST API. So that's a wrap for this video, and thank you very much. Stay tuned for future ones.